Have you, heard, have, you heard about, have you heard about RAPS, which is the remote area power supply? So if you've got no connectivity with the network at all, you'll have <coughs> a level of renewables. So you might have wind, you might have um, um, solar PV, you might have some biodiesel. But when all that runs out, you, you might need diesel. Um, and if you haven't got battery storage, that's all great until it all runs out. So, so storage is storage is the is the, the golden goose, uh, or the golden egg, if you like. And um, where what this is all about is smart meters are just one component of of that you know that, that um, cooperation, if you like, between the different types of technologies to maintain you um, you know sourcing your energy at the most opportune times, doing it yourself when it's too expensive. <coughs> And then if, you've got, if you have excess back into the grid or potentially into your neighbour's place, we might be having a not so good time with their storage. So you can call it plug and play, which is like um, one of the pictures there, talks about the ability for electric vehicles. Um, a lot of controversy about electric vehicles, but at the end of the day, it's, it's just one other thing which can be used that <coughs> you can um, ch recharge your vehicle in the off-peak overnight. And when you get home in the afternoon from the peak, plug it back in and dump it back into your home area. And uh, just as one more, one more way of um, providing yourself a reliable source of, of electricity. So is this connected with the idea that there would be a distributed energy system so that uh, th yeah. there would be networks within That's the right. larger networks? That's right. Networks within networks? Perfect way to put it. Yes. Um, when you 